इट्स ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई टूडे फोर न्यू स्टोरीज टी पी एल एफ स्पोक्स पर्सन गैता चौरेदा हैज इशूड की स्टेटमेंट अबाउट ऑन गोइंग फाइटिंग इन टिगराए सेकेंडली इथियोपियन गवर्नमेंट हैज डिस्टोर्ड ऑपरेशनल लाइसेंस ऑफ एडी स्टैंडर्ड थर्डली टिगराइज गवर्नमेंट हैज इशूड एन इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट एरटिंग रिफ्यूजीज इन टिगराए Lastly I'll have a look at some pictures which are being shared uh, claiming to show TDF fighters captured in a far region Let's have a look at the first news story Gatta Chaurida just uh, a few hours ago shared a statement on his Twitter account uh, He is saying that TDF will continue fighting wherever it is fighting TDF will continue fighting until enemies are no more a threat to tigray it means views that uh, there is no likelihood uh, uh, of uh, cessation of hostilities in tigray in coming days tigray defense forces and amhara regional forces both are entrenched and both are sticking to their positions no signs of any mediation no signs of any middle way but the war has shifted from western front to a far uh, region a far amhara border areas tigray defense forces could not make any considerable gains in western tigray they had crossed tigray the river they advanced towards volkayet sagade humaira but they faced trenches they faced land mines and we saw stiff resistance from amhara regional forces as well that is why uh, now for the intensity of this war has shifted from western tigray to a far region tigray defense forces uh, are advancing on this front they have captured yalo warida and tigray defense forces want to take control of a key road which connects djibouti with ethiopia so far the road has not been taken by tdf on the other hand ethiopian national defense forces they are carrying out air strikes we have seen massive air strikes in afar on tdf positions uh, we have seen a thousand displaced as well in afar region several pictures uh, several new stories have confirmed that after the entry of tdf in afar thousands have been displaced uh, so the war front is shifting from western tigray to afar uh, uh, lastly viewers uh, tigray defense forces uh, have successfully shifted war fronts from raya to amhara region and to afar region they captured elamata they captured koram but in order to secure these areas uh, in raya zone they have now extended uh, front lines they have in fact shifted uh, front lines at a distance from these areas so it, it's a way of uh, securing elamata and koram that war fronts must be at a distance from these areas so now war is uh, being fought uh, not inside elamata or koram but uh, near kobo near uh, shifra so, so, so it, it was a strategy to create a buffer zone around uh, raya zone and then move towards uh, uh, strategic locations uh, strategic places like the road which links djibouti with ethiopia but the war is continuing viewers and no signs of any cessation of hostilities second viewers ethiopian government has reinstated the license of adi standard adi standard is one of uh, leading news sources in ethiopia few days ago ethiopian government suspended its license uh, over uh, allegations uh, that adi standard was not abiding by laws it was using the term tigray defense forces tdf it was supporting a group which was banned tplf tplf is banned according to ethiopian constitution uh, ethiopian law views now uh, ethiopian media authority ema has issued a statement ema has reinstated the license of ad standard ethiopian media authority says that ad standard has uh, given assurances that it will abide by laws 
that is why its license has been restored we saw pressure from international journalist bodies after the standard was suspended they were calling for the restoration of its license now if you think government has taken uh, uh, a good step and its standards license has been restored thirdly viewed sir tigray's government has issued a very key statement about arresting refugees in tigray we, we have been talking about uh, attacks on arresting refugees in tigray attacks happened when uh, endf arresting force were in control of tigray attacks happened when tdf took control of makale so we saw attacks on uh, headsets shimalba when uh, arctian forces end were in control of those areas then we saw attacks on my any at the harish camps a few days ago and tplf allied militias were uh, accused of these attacks now tigray's government is saying that it's open to any un led investigations about atrocities committed against uh, arctian refugees in tigray and against civilians so tigray's government wants in independent us led investigations uh, into atrocities committed against civilians in tigray and arati refugees in tigray lastly the statement is uh, calling upon the authorities that uh, arati refugees must not be relocated out of tigray without their consent we do know that thousands of arati refugees have been relocated out of uh, tigray now uh, tigray's government is ready to host these refugees tigray's government is saying that refugee agencies must consult these refugees do they want to move out of tigray or not if they do not want to move out of tigray these arati refugees must not be relocated out of tigray lastly viewers we have uh, some pictures these pictures are being shared on several social media platforms it is being said that uh, uh, the persons shown in the pictures are tdf soldiers who have been captured in a far region and that a large number of tdf fighters have been captured in a far region these pictures are not uh, from the past few days these pictures were taken in november i have uh, checked these pictures to uh, reverse imaging and these pictures are not from a far region the pictures were taken in november we haven't seen so far any pictures of tdf fighters captured in a far region so far i think for which